There was a time, not that long ago, when billion-dollar takeovers of Australian companies by foreign corporate giants caused anguish. The purchase of biscuit maker Arnott's by America's Campbell's Soup, the Singapore Stock Exchange's attempt to buy the ASX, and cereal giant Archer Daniels Midland bid for Grey Accor, are just some examples of contentious foreign takeovers that caused much hand-wringing over the years. Now, I am definitely not suggesting that the economic nationalism of years gone by is something we should miss, but it was in striking contrast to how the latest big foreign takeover was received this week. ASCS, a relatively obscure construction software company from Melbourne, is far from a household name, but when it announced an agreement to be acquired by US software Colossus Oracle for $1.6 billion, the reaction was positively jubilant particularly within the closely knit tech sector. And that jubilation is totally understandable. ASCS had been on a remarkable, and often uncertain, 17-year journey. Its founders will each walk away with a cool $100 million, some of which might well flow back into promising tech companies of the future. Rather than any regret over a key member of a nascent industry being lost to another country, there was a strong sense of vindication. A member of the Silicon Valley elite, which, it must be said, has its own issues at the moment, wants to acquire a firm that had been seriously doubted by sections of Australia's investment landscape. In truth, there was some anguish about this deal, but of a different kind. It was interpreted by many as another sign that Australia's big fund managers just don't understand tech stocks. Ahead of the deal, ESCS was among the most heavily shorted stocks in the Australian market which means quite a few investors were aggressively betting that its share price would fall. The Oracle acquisition, at a hefty premium, would have been extremely painful for them. There's a problem with this narrative though. A big part of the thesis behind shorting ASCS was that its shares were overvalued. And the reason its shares looked overvalued, to the short sellers, was because other, Australian, investors were prepared to buy the stock, bidding up its price. Even before the takeover bid was announced, the bulls were in control, as shares had nearly trebled in value since the company's share market float. Evidently, many local investors did in fact understand its potential, and are set to profit handsomely from that. Short selling is a fact of life in the modern markets, arguably, it is a good thing, and short selling of tech stocks is certainly not unusual. Some of the biggest names in US tech, think Netflix. Amazon, have incurred the wrath of the shorts over the years. Tesla, one of the most talked about companies on the planet, is consistently among the most heavily shorted names in the US. Since tech companies often forego short-term profits for growth, their ability to make money, and long-term prospects more broadly, are often heavily debated. Sometimes the short sellers get it right, 